Okay, let's look at finding zeros of a polynomial. Let's find all the zeros of f of x given that 3 is a zero of multiplicity 2. Because 3 is a zero of multiplicity 2, that means x minus 3 quantity squared is a factor of f. And what is this? Let's square this out. It's x squared minus 6x plus 9. And therefore, if this is a factor of f, that means that f of x is equal to this x squared minus 6x plus 9 times some polynomial q of x. And we can find q of x by dividing f by this. So let's do that. Now x squared goes into x to the fourth, x squared times, and x squared times x squared minus 6x plus 9 is x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 9x squared. And now subtracting, we get negative 2x cubed plus 11x squared and then we still have the minus 12x minus 9. And x squared goes into negative 2x cubed, negative 2x times, and negative 2x times x squared minus 6x plus 9 is negative 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 18x. And subtracting, we get negative x squared plus 6x minus 9. And x squared goes into negative x squared, negative 1 times. And negative 1 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 is negative x squared plus 6x minus 9. And when we subtract, our remainder is 0, which it should be because this is a factor of f. And therefore, this is q of x. In other words, f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9 times this quotient, q of x, which is x squared minus 2x minus 1. So the other zeros of f will be the zeros of q of x. So we need to find out where q of x is equal to 0. And since this does not factor, the quadratic formula can help us out here. That is, we have x is equal to negative b, or negative negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or negative 2 squared, minus 4 times a, times c, all divided by 2 times a, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, and then plus 4, or 8, all divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. And therefore, the zeros of f are 3 with multiplicity 2, 1 plus the square root of 2, and 1 minus the square root of 2. And this is how we find the other zeros of f. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.